What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Just 33 King Production. And yes, I told you, it is going down right now. Right now. As I told you, Star is doing an interview with not only the victim, but remember when I told you yesterday, I said that it doesn't mean nothing unless you got some police documents. It doesn't mean nothing unless you got police reports. It doesn't mean nothing unless you got some kind of law enforcement documents to back your claim. And guess what he did? He not only got the victim. He got the law enforcement. He got the documents to back up the claim. Charlemagne and God supposedly raped this girl at when she was 15 years old. Not when he was 15, but when she was 15. And the way he did it was he pulled the Bill Cosby. And he always tried to talk about what he used to do as a young kid, how he used to be this thug. And all he did was sell dope. And he's from North Carolina. And how he sell dope, which guess what? We better add rape to your damn roster because guess what? Charlemagne the guy, and it's not funny. Somebody's really a victim, and we're gonna play a small snippet of it real quick. Holla at your boy. Greetings, I'm your host, Star, and this is the Star Report. I have a guest tonight. Her name is Jessica, and she has a story to tell. Along with the Sheriff's Department statements and court documents Sheriff. dating back to 2001 with respect to an alleged crime of rape with Charlemagne the God, a popular radio host by way of The Breakfast Club. Jessica claims that Charlemagne did indeed drug her and rape her. Ooh. Let me also say that I personally have no first-hand knowledge of these allegations surrounding this matter, but I do have Jessica on the line and have court documents to substantiate these allegations. Good evening, Jessica. Welcome to the show. All right, so you're 32 years of age, you're a mother, and you've got a career, and this is something that's been what? It's, it's been weighing heavy on your heart over the years, or you feel that there's something that needs to be uh, further discussed? What? Um, it, it's just something that I haven't quite been able to uh, get over. I don't know if you ever get over anything like that, but as far as closure goes, I never really got that um, after everything happened. I was 15 years old, and my mom, she really didn't want me to, you know, speak against him in court. I guess she felt like after all had taken place, that would have been too much for me at that time. So we kind of moved away to Virginia, and, you know, that was it. There was never any closure. I, I don't believe that he ever went to jail. According to the paperwork, I think he just got um, probation. So he never really was held responsible for what he did. And then. Um and this is what I've been telling you guys. Charlotte May Nagar. The prince of pissing people off. The prince of rubbing people wrong. This is what he says in his open, opening uh, 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 when he opened up for Breakfast Club. I mean, he is the guy that pisses people. And I'm pretty sure. The Breakfast Club is going crazy right now. Charlamagne the God, or should we call Charlotte Bill Cosby? What could we call the 